Beloved brothers and sisters in Islam, as you know, the night of decree known as Laylatul Qadr is to be looked for within the last 10 nights of the month of Ramadan, more likely within the odd nights from amongst the last 10 nights of the month of Ramadan, more likely to be within the second half, which means we would look at the 27th as well as the 29th. But this does not mean that it is not from the 21st onwards. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us this night. A very powerful question asked by Aisha radiallahu anha to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we need to know this because we need to understand and realize the power of this eve. I'm sure we all know the verses of the Quran that were read this evening in Salatul Witr, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Laylatul Qadri Khayrun Min Alfi Shahr. This night of decree is better than 1000 months. So, this is why we need to realize and understand the command of Allah is sent down on this night. The instruction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sent down on this night. If we were to look at that particular surah, open its meaning, and read it, we will come to understand this. So, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is asked a question. Do you see, if I see the night of decree, what dua should I read? What prayer should I make? What supplication should I make? And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam responded in a hadith which is muttafaq alayh, completely simple. He says, say, Allahumma innaka afuun tuhibbul afwa fa'fu anni. Oh Allah, you are most forgiving, you love to forgive, so forgive me. As simple as that. If we achieve forgiveness on this night, subhanallah. The hadith says, Man qama laylat al-qadr imanan wa ihtisaban, ghufira lahu ma taqaddama min dhambi. Whoever stands the night in ibadah, the night of laylat al-qadr, believing and with conviction and expecting a reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all his previous sins are wiped out. So this is the night of decree. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to open our doors. I see there are messages doing their rounds saying, read this 70 times and 7 times and do this 20 times and 7,000 and 70,000 angels will be sent to do this and that. All that is fabricated. Remember one thing, we should not become excited by fabrications. We should be from amongst those who know what is solid and we should know at the same time, continue worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah will open your doors. And remember the simplest acts of worship, sometimes they are the most powerful. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us on this night. So we may read our Quran, we may engage in salah, we may do as much as we can voluntarily. But at the same time, do not forget to engage in the instruction of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Constantly calling out Allah throughout this night, Allahumma inna ka afuun to hibbul afwa fa'fu anni. Oh Allah, you are most forgiving. You love to forgive, so forgive me. I mean, may Allah forgive us on this eve, and may Allah subhanahu wa taala make us witness the eve. The sad reality, and I need to mention this, is we all think the 27th is the night. It may not have been the 27th this year. It may be. It may not be. We need to look for and search for this particular night. And this is the gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for us. So that we do not become from amongst those who worship Allah one night and the rest of the nights we forget Him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us good.